Hello, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank all of you on behalf of both families. Um, I know this wasn't a destination close to anybody, but you all made it. And, and we appreciate you being with our children at such a special time in their life. And um, I want to thank the wedding party, the bridesmaids and the groomsmen who took such good care of Nick and Allison the last few days. It was Not only you guys are great friends, but uh, uh, this week, but you were great friends for them all, all the time, and we really appreciate that. You know, as parents, we are good at some things, and um, and uh, we're really good at spotting anything and finding something to worry about. But when I look at Nick and Ali. I feel that like there's nothing we have to worry about. And, uh, and I feel the future of the two families is in good hands. So, um, we all have instincts. We don't talk about our instincts. And fathers have their own instincts. We certainly not don't talk about them. And. Um, the instinct that near and dear to our heart is the instinct that nobody, and I mean nobody, is good enough for our God. <laughs> so they introduced me to Nick. And oh, at the beginning, he didn't say much, and I didn't say much. <laughs> and, uh, I think we both had each other on that high resolution microscope and, and um, eventually a strange thought came to me I thought maybe he's good enough and and I, uh, after I saw how they interact how well they get along I thought I think he is better than me when I was his age oh. and anybody who's better than me that raised a son that's better than me at his age needs to be recognized and revered. And I want to introduce to you, and I hope you'd stand up so people see you, um, your dad, um, Randy uh, Phelps and Pat Phelps. Please stand up. And also your mom and dad, um, Ed and Terry, Terry uh, uh, Carr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Terry. I know your name, but <laughs> I'd like to also introduce the person most responsible for who Allison is, and that's Diana Dishkanyan. <laughs> Among many things, there are at least 3,000 hours of playing with Barbies and Ken uh, with uh, Allison that developed her uh, relationship uh, development. <laughs> Now, Allison, um, one of the things I had promised myself to do is to take my two daughters to the university campuses of their choice so that they can decide where to go. And um, when I, it was Allison's turn, I went to her and she already had all her decisions made. <laughs> and she said, Dad, we are not, we are not going to Colorado. <laughs> Colorado is totally out. I said, why? She said, I just don't feel I have to do everything my sister has done and follow her footsteps. I said, that's good enough reason. So we went to Oregon for a few days 
her first choice. We went to Arizona for a few days, her second choice, and uh, she didn't say much. So I wasn't sure. I asked her, um, did you make your mind or we keep on going? She said, no, I made up my mind. Uh, I said, where, where is it going to be, Oregon or Arizona? She said, Colorado. <laughs> So if it wasn't, so if it wasn't for that 180, from what she felt and what she finally did, none of us would be here tonight. And it's little decisions like that that change our lives so much. And it was her flexibility that I wasn't aware of that means so much in a marriage. Flexibility and forgiveness from both sides. It's easy to remember, they're both F words, so. <laughs> so, I, I want to wish you a lot of healthy and happy life together. I know you guys get along so well that that will be your destiny. And um, I want to tell you one thing, Nick, in front of your family and your friends, that we welcome you not as a son-in-law, son but as the son we wished we had. <laughs>